Hey everyone, in this video we're going to look at uh, using the uh, Google Merchant option in your eStore to uh, utilize the power of Google uh, to help get your products out on the web. Um, so here's an example we see of the uh, Google Shopping. What we have here is we have a list of products. Uh, I typed in Super 5N and you can see the product listing and the various sellers that are selling obviously this is picking up some other stuff but um, this is a great way to get your product out on the web um, for people to see so when we get back to our content management system what you're gonna see here is you're gonna see that you have the option of clicking on the uh, Google merchant part of your account which is right here uh, that'll open up this window and you will see that you have a file name which is going to show up on your computer when you save this file you're going to see the URL for a scheduled upload and you're going to see the option to download that file so uh, what you want to do is probably the first time is go ahead and download this file right here to your computer it'll be titled this um, you'll go ahead and go to uh, Google and set up a merchant account what will come up is uh, this component here you'll go into data feeds you'll go add data feed and if I go back here you can see that you would uh, not have anything in here you would click new data feed you would fill out your target country you would format the Google base is the format is Google base and then you would type in the file name as shown here uh, once you do that, you would go ahead and click Save Changes, and uh, it would bring you back to this component here. Um, there's some various information you want to fill out. It's pretty straightforward on Google. Uh, first time you want to do it, you want to go ahead and click Manual Upload. When you do so, you'll click here, Browse to wherever you stored that file on your computer. You would click Upload and Process File. Uh, what you'd get then is you would get this here. It would tell you the date you uploaded it. It would tell you um, how many products it's processed. Sometimes that takes a few minutes. You can also then go ahead and click create a schedule. Uh, you can set up whether you want to do it monthly, daily, weekly, time of the month, date, or uh, I should say hour that you want to do it, the time zone you're in, and then the URL of the file. So what you want to go ahead and post uh, in that URL component is you want to post this information right here. Uh, so once you do that, you'll go ahead and uh, schedule everything. It usually takes about 24 hours, but all your products will go in there. Um, you can go down later on uh, after you've done so. You can check out which products are in there. Um, uh, I don't have any items in here right now, but it'd show you all of them. It'll also give you uh, data quality. It'll let you know whether there's any problems in your data feed, and it'll also show you um, how your products have performed so far. So um, again, that's a great way to use a component available to you from your eStore to get your products out on Google, Google Shopping just like this. Um, it'll show you the, the brands and the stores available. So. Um, Google Shopping is a great way to get your store and its products out on the web uh, in a free way. Uh, it just takes a little sign up at Google Merchant. Go ahead and go to the Google Merchant um, setup. Follow the instructions. They're pretty straightforward. And uh, get your products out on the web. All right. Thank you.